What's going on guys? Frank Rich from MassAtticMuscle.com and in today's video we're going to discuss and talk about the importance of intra workout nutrition and I'm going to provide you a little bit of insight on what you should be consuming during your training. Now no matter what your goal is, whether it's fat loss, building muscle, gaining weight, building strength, we do know that the most important thing is hitting your total caloric or your total macronutrient needs throughout the day. But in order for you to truly optimize your results, optimize your training, and get the most out of what you're doing, it is very crucial for you to truly master your peri workout nutrition. And when we discuss peri, it's pre, intra, and post training. But more specifically in this video, we're really gonna hammer and talk about the intro workout, so what you're consuming while you're training. But before we get into that, let's first discuss a little bit about what you're taking in before you're training. Now, a lot of people are in the belief that in order to get a great pump or, in, or to truly maximize your gains in the gym, you wanna have some type of carbohydrates about 60 to 90 minutes before training. Now, we know that it takes about four to six hours for carbohydrates to turn into muscle glycogen. So if you're actually gonna use that carb that you're taking in, you wanna have it well ahead of time. Now, what you want to prevent doing is you don't want to have a slow digesting carbohydrate within 60 to 90 minutes, because what's going to end up happening is your body's going to actually still be going through that digestive process while you're training. So you're going to be pulling blood from your muscles into your digestive tract, and all that's going to do is that's going to limit your ability to, to generate a pump or to generate um, blood flow to your muscles during training. Now, you also want to avoid having fast digesting carbs, so sugars, sugary drinks, Gatorades. You don't want to have that too close to your workout as well because what that's going to do is that's going to generate or, or really increase your insulin and then what's going to happen is probably about 20 to 30 minutes into your training you're going to go hypo so you're going to get this elevated blood sugar and then you're going to and then you're going to crash midway through your workout you get cold sweats start feeling a little bit tired so my opinion what i recommend having is a lean protein source I prefer having a very super lean beef, so 90 to 95% lean ground beef, but then I also want to have some type of fats. Now, the best type of fat is going to be an MCT based fat, you can have MCT oil, MCT powder, or coconut oil. This is really where you're going to get your medium chain triglycerides into your fat, so it's going to help with the cognitive function, it's going to give you a little bit more sustained energy release throughout your training, and really is going to help fuel your workout. Now about 10 to 15 minutes into your training, this is when you're gonna to wanna to start introducing some carbohydrates into your body. Now once again, this is gonna to have to be very specific in what you take in. I'm not saying have a bowl of oatmeal or have a big plate of rice with you while you're training, because once again, we wanna limit the digestion of what's taking place within our body. So if we're gonna introduce carbs, we wanna do it in a powdered type form. Now what I recommend is the the best source is gonna be a branched cyclic dextrin. Um, and this is the reason why, because this is already pre-digested. So it's really gonna help bypass, or it's gonna bypass your digestive tract and just get into your bloodstream really, really quick. Now what this is also doing, is this is, giving you, this is gonna give you a sustained insulin release. So we don't wanna have this huge insulin spike while we're training, but we wanna have a sustained release. So kind of like a drip of insulin during our training. Now this is gonna do three things. This is gonna prevent muscle protein breakdown during the training. So obviously we know we're going to the gym, we're working hard, we're breaking down our, our muscle cells, we're breaking down the protein within our muscles. So if we can, if we can prevent that muscle protein breakdown, we're gonna be able to sustain and, and get more recovery or sooner recovery through our training. Also, this is gonna give you more of a sustained energy. So a lot of times you may feel you get a little bit of a crash 30 minutes, 35 minutes into your training. Well, by having a slight insulin release during your training, you're gonna get a more sustained ener energy release. And then you're also gonna get an increased pump. So like I said, we're shuttling blood into our training. This is, or into our, into our muscles. And this is just gonna really help elevate that blood flow to those muscles, really improve your mind to muscle connection, the neurological or neuromuscular response, and really just help bring a lot of blood flow to your muscles. So. 10, 15 minutes into your training, when you really start to get that sweat going, you really start to get that pump, this is when you want to introduce a slower digesting carbohydrate. And I do recommend using a brand cyclic like dextrin. You want to avoid dextrose, you want to avoid maltodextrin because these are, once again, going to have to go through your digestive tract. It's really taking away from pulling the, the blood into your muscles. It's work, making your body work harder to digest this. Now, in addition to the brain cyclic dextrin, I do recommend also taking in some BCAAs, or even better, if, you, if you're able to get your hands on some essential amino acids, so EAAs. Now, like we said, what we're doing is we're pulling blood into our muscles, so if we can add some essential amino acids into that, we're then we're starting that recovery process. So essential amino acids are all the aminos that you're getting from eating your proteins. So this is really gonna help, like I said, 
initiate that recovery process while you're training. So it's gonna help with soreness in the long, in the long term. You're, you're not gonna be sore for days because you've already started the recovery process while you're training. So intro workout nutrition, extremely important to optimize your training, optimize your recovery, optimize your performance. And like I said, I do recommend going with a branch cyclic dextrin and then an essential amino acid. Now, as far as dosage, this is really gonna depend upon your weight, your total macronutrients. So you don't wanna be, you know, taking a lot of your total macronutrients for the day. So for somebody maybe 180 pounds or less, I would say maybe start with about 25 grams of carbohydrates through the brand cyclic direction and about 15 grams of BCAAs or EAAs. For anybody above 200 pounds, you probably get away with maybe 35, 40 grams of brand cyclic direction. And then if you're obviously much, much larger and you're still going through a bulking phase, 225 and up, you'll probably be able to get away with 50 to 60 maybe even 70 grams, depending upon how your body responds to these carbohydrates. None of these numbers are fixed though, so make sure that you're paying close attention to your total macros for the day, and then pulling away, and then just adding them into this workout drink. Now, what this is also gonna do, is this is gonna buy you some time for your post-training nutrition. A lot of people believe that literally, the minute they get done lifting weights, they need to smash a whey protein shake. And if we're optimizing our intra workout nutrition, this is gonna make that meal much less important and buy you a little bit of a window as far as consuming that post-workout meal. So because we're getting the nutrients that we need as far as carbohydrates and proteins during our training, we're giving ourselves maybe 60 to 90 minutes post-training to really get that next meal in. So this gives you time to leave the gym, get home, shower up, rest, let your central nervous system decompress a little bit, get into a better state, and then you can enjoy a nice, big, full meal of carbohydrates and protein. So instead of rushing to smash a protein shake immediately post-training, I advise paying more attention to what you're consuming while you're training, and then getting a good, solid, wholesome meal post-training. Now, if you don't know where to get some brain sick like that, there's a link below in the description box at redcon1.com. They make a supplement called Cluster Bomb. I'm gonna put a description or I'm gonna put a discount code right here for you to where you can get 10% off of any supplements at redcon1.com. Just hit the link, enter in this discount code right here, and that's gonna give you 10% off of Cluster Bomb, which is gonna be, like I said, my most recommended carbohydrate to take while you're training. Another option outside of brain cyclic dextrin is Vitargo. It's another pre-digested carbohydrate. The sole reason why we're recommending these is because you wanna get something that's pre-digested. So you don't wanna be pulling all that blood into your stomach, into your digestive tract. You wanna leave that blood in your muscles, creating that pump, creating that mind-to-muscle neurological, neuromuscular connection that we're optimizing and we're really, really looking for. In the grand scheme of things, whether your goal is building muscle, losing fat, getting stronger, it's important to pay attention to your total macronutrients for the day, but to truly optimize your performance, to optimize your strength, to optimize your gains, you really want to hammer down this three-phase nutrition, so pre, intra, and post. And if you're looking to get the most out of your training, I do recommend the brain cyclic dextrin with essential amino acids. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you found value in this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it with somebody. You know, if, if you know somebody out there that would find value in this channel, in this video, make sure to send them our way. We're really trying to grow this intelligent muscle building channel. So please do send them our way. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button right here as we are releasing new videos every single week. But other than that, guys, I really appreciate tuning in. I also have something else I want to give you. Right down there in the description box, if you hit that first link, www.massetticmuscle.com slash free week, we're giving away one free week of muscle building workout so this is five days of training hitting every muscle two times within that one week of intelligently programmed workout to maximize your muscle gain so hit that link put your email address in send a workout to you guys right away but other than that guys i really appreciate you tuning in and i'll talk to you soon